Splunk Cut Metalworks, April 3rd, 2016. Today I'm going to do a quick test of a film blade. And uh, okay, it's this in, is the D2, and both of these play is a fifty thousandth of an inch, or about that. And D2 seem to be a little thinner, but anyway, both of these play D2 and 3V, and uh, both are sixty-four uh, Rockwell hardness, and with fifteen thousand of an inch behind the edge thickness. And something in angles about 15, 14, but I put 15 here, degree per side. And for the top test, I also have another one, but I already got a little chip. It was at 64, and this thing now is 62, and also this is D2, same thickness, and pretty much about similar uh, edge geometry as that one, two. Anyway, so. I'm going to quickly mainly focus on these two guys and looking at what edge stability wise at this high hardness. And so, and this is uh, the, some solid core cable, electrical cable, and uh, we'll chop, tap through it. So that the two tap two. These edges should be barely sliced newsprint. So I would test newsprint slice for growth damage. And this back end is a piece of uh, Kumaru. And so that's it. Mainly three solid copper, and that is tapping through. And uh, now it will be a quick, send this chopping, there's not enough really momentum to do a much penetration, but I'm going to do some chop. Even that, it was yeah, accelerate and decelerate quickly, and this is Gaboon Avenue. So, and went through that. And so I will do in a quick reverse chop. All right. Okay, reverse chop. That's the three V with a hole in the tank there. And this is going to be with D two. So, let's go through that. Well, the hardest test, the one that got a lot of failure, is this African Blackwood. And I'm going to baton it through. And this thing is very hard wood. And it will cut across grain, so it will be. And I'm going to, that one I'm going to test. This is one of the hardest tests. And this for geometry. So, I'm going to tap through. In this case, uh, that one didn't go all the way. It definitely deflected out. I just tried to got a tree tree cut out of this. So chopping at an angle also probably not good, but you can see. so far then no damage. So, I already break it. Okay. Well, since the wood is hard, it don't have to be chopped to a lot of behavior every time you strike it. And so, if the edge cannot handle it, it's going to fail already. And that was D2, 64. And this is 3V. And that thing is disintegrated. Let's do another one for two V. 
This is not the standard heat treat that a lot of people do. Uh, this is a blanket metal work uh, special heat treats. So 64 Rockwell, I just patoned to African Blackwood. And this was the one that chipped earlier. And with a diff slightly different heat treat parameter and this section is it, still good. So I'm just going to patone to that. And this seems to be a lot thinner geometry because you eat to this block like nothing. And that is 62 and I have no problem with this section. No problem at all. Let me see the newspaper slicing for the TV and the D2. Yeah. You don't see anything that cut and tear. That means you know, if you have a chip, it will catch the, uh, the newsprint and the tear up. So it's still, you know, no edge damage for with this such a geometry. Since I am out here, and uh, let me tap through this block and break them up a little bit to get a small piece. This one I go you know, with the grain so that it will kind of split here. And so I got this piece now. There are reason for it. I'm going to show you. And from last month, this the chop I made, and this is the one that I didn't split up in. And uh, this is still a 65 Rockwell W2, and the thickness on the spine is 325. And the the edge geometry is almost like the little guy. It's at 16,000 of an inch behind the edge and 15 degrees per side. So it's very thin and this edge have a couple small chips already on it. So a uh, couple. It's about right here, but it's really hard to see to, to catch it because set a big blade. But anyway, I'm going to do some chopping. Yeah, well, might as well chop a, a piece of copper. If I add it, so, standard affair. And this block is rickety, so. All right. Sad. All right, we'll live with that. I'm going to partly stand up and have it at it. Do that not. Ah, I'll probably get tired quickly. Anyway, so that was two by four dry Douglas fur, and this is a uh, pine, twisty pine. Yeah, this is the chest bowl. And it's still fine. Uh, some sort of oak board. All right, 
Gotta go. We'll make it bounce. One more. Don't worry, I have my goggle on to protect my eye. And nothing, the edge is fine. Finally, I'll finish up African blackwood. Let me look next to it. Yes, you can see it. All right, here you go. Nice when you have a big chopper, they just explode two things. All right, let's take a look at the edge. Yep, I think that is the chip I mentioned earlier. That was a new chip. But I can take a look at it later on. Whether the chip get bigger or not. Yeah, right there, there, that chip still right there, it still remain. Alright, thanks for watching.